Okay, hello everybody. So, I actually got to do a video here. I haven't done, really done anything in a while. So what we are looking at is a 3406B cat motor. Um, it is out of a 9000 Ford, 1990. And well, I came into work today. So Thursday, it had a little clickety click, a little click click. Um, get here and being told that you know it's spun it it actually spun the um the rod out i mean not the rod i mean the push rod out so this is what i'm looking at i mean i it, it had a little click we hadn't done a an overhead on it so let's turn on the flashlight so what we got right now is we can see anything I mean, our lifter's still way down in there. So we are going to go through this. I'm gonna see if I can pull that lifter, but otherwise we're gonna disassemble everything here to try to get down. I'm probably gonna take this rear one off first, see if I can get to that lifter and see what it actually looks like. And we'll go from there, so. We'll have some fun. Like I said, I'll make a quick little video here. It's just basics. So. I'm gonna disassemble my fuel lines. Those right there. I'm gonna pull out my I mean my rockers. So start there. Okay, so let's get back at this for a little bit. I tore some of the stuff down. So what we did was we took this top housing off, we took the lower housing off, then I sat there, I took my fuel lines off. Then I remove these three bolts. I go studs down through there. We pulled out our um, lifters. Well, I mean, our rockers, basically. And then we pulled out our tubes. And now you can see down in there, if you look very carefully, I don't know if I can like give out a freaking nice little example here, but a little black dot right down there if you see it should look like this one over here there's a lock right there okay I don't know if I can get a better view of it but basically that that one's fun I'll get a good view down in there or not the camera got to get away this will become edited See that little black dot, which can't I can't get focused in there very well. Right. I can't really get a good fucking look. But you know, there's some locks down in there. Those are those are bad. Can't really get a good view on it, so so now I'm gonna have to take this other part out because I can't get that lifter is just stuck. And it's been it's sitting sideways. So odds are it's probably damaged the cam. So, I'm gonna pull the rest of this off. And then, I guess we're gonna prep to get the head off because we're, we're pulling the head, I guess, to check the cam out. Even though I have the camera with me to sit there and check down in there, you know. If I can't pull it out, I can't pull it out, you know. But, all right, let's get at this. Okay, so, all the head bolts are out. Everything's been disassembled. So we're gonna lift the head up. We're gonna leave the exhaust manifold on. We're gonna leave the intake manifold up there on. So we're gonna break the head away, pop it up a little bit. And then we're gonna lift her up and get her out of here. And then, yeah, we'll see what the heck's going on. So I was actually wrong. Uh, yes, I know if I gotta pull it, we're pulling the cam, everything else has gotta come out the part front, so. This is just like, hopefully I can show you guys here shortly like what's actually wrong with this. But, you know, just make sure you lay out all your shit. I mean, just make sure you lay out all your stuff, so, properly. Yes, your bolts are gonna be throwaways, so you don't really worry too much about those, so. But, all right, let me work on taking the rest more. We'll zoom in a little bit after. All right, <clears throat> so our head is off. Left the intake, we left the exhaust manifold. Um, so yeah, we're off. Let me get, 
I'll hop up on top here. Maybe I can actually get a view of what's our issue right now. So you can see our issue here. This, you can see how my how the how our lifter is spun. So you'll see if we can get this out and check the cam before we have to fuck. Before I had to pull the whole front end apart. So so maybe we'll come back for another day. But it was a short day today, so this is all we got done. Head is out. Nothing wrong with the head. This is a brand. This is a brand. Uh, well, I think it was a remanufactured head. Beginning of last year. Everything else is laid out. Uh, I guess we have to, I have to take the whole front end apart now. Get in the cam. That lifter is just screwed. So. Maybe come back for another time. Otherwise, this is just gonna be a short video. Because, you know, it's if somebody else gets in here and starts doing it, but. So this is our roller that we took out. Okay, so I'm just gonna finish my little video. It wasn't much, you know, but I showed you what the damage was the lifter We took the cam out. We're gonna swap the cam um, You missed all this. We basically took the bolts off out of here and we're just gonna go It's just gonna start as a retime completely and just time everything out. So But we got our pulley off we Got our outer housing off our gear Pull our cam. There's our cam there's that gear. We got our fuel pump, the gear for that, that gear right there. Um, pretty much everything you see. The cover is over there sitting somewhere. But as you saw, that's what happened. You can see every place that, every place it sat there and it started turning and then it finally seized up right there. And it snapped it right off. So that was our failure, and that was our little clicking. So I mean, I guess I'll come back here. Maybe I'll make a video of installing everything. So I mean, if you if you're looking forward to that, to come back and you know for another video. Thank you.